Welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. It is the 28th of October, um, 2020. And we have, I think most everybody who said they're gonna be here and Janet is gonna be joining us as well. Dana, sorry about that. You're not on all the lists yet. And anyway, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. so. Um, I, I am going to um, jump in and um, kind of very quickly, you'll get to know everybody here. Um, I think some of you know each other. I'm gonna run this a little differently tonight. Um, we will have some conversation time at the end, but I'm going to ask you to jump into a breakout room and actually make a, um, what, what uh, and I will explain a little more what I think a skill is but make a skill, which is a special post on Youth Voices um, with a partner, okay? And so what I'm imagining is that you'll go with, we've done this with youth before and I can, I'll explain that, but uh, we, um, you're going to go with that person and you're gonna ask her or him um, or they, um, if what, what's, sort of a special skill that we could look at your work and find for you as a teacher, right? Fair enough? If somebody has a way to say that better than me, please say it. Um, and the person you're with is going to go into youthvoices.live and actually create that skill for you. And then we're gonna show you how to, how to nominate and get going with that, okay? A little bit of background though. Um, stop me um, in in 10 minutes here and please interrupt and ask me questions as we go. Um, I would go back probably a decade in looking at um, work we've done around badges and um, outcomes. Outcomes is even further back and so forth. Um, key moment was, was with uh, P2PU's badges and one of the really interesting thing about P2PU's development of their badges was that they were badges that anybody could create and anybody could give to anybody. And so the idea of them was a novice would come in and say, oh, here's an expert in this, let me go look and see what that person can do, right? And connect with that person. So that was the idea of their badges. Over the last, Four, four years or so, we've been messing with LRNG badges. Um, one of the, and I'm just putting two extremes out there, right? And one of the downsides that we have found with LRNG badges, or one of the things we struggle with, let's put it that way, is that they end up being just a recognition that you completed this work. You followed all the assignments, you did this. And, and like the, uh, what do you want to, the, the sort of a thing that you can do, the habits of heart, mind, and work that you can do kind of get lost, I think. So um, moving away from LRG badges a little bit, but one of the problems we had with the PDPU stuff was in a school situation, was it okay for any kid to give anybody credit for the work they're doing, right? became an issue, <laughs> right? So what we have now, so what a skill is, is it's a thing that you can type up, any, any youth on the site can type up too, and they can create and put an image, and a couple of you have tried to do this already. Um, and, and then once that's on the site, and it goes up pretty quickly, anybody can nominate somebody for that badge. It's not a badge, sorry, for that skill. Right, um, and then, but you don't get it until a teacher on the site kind of approves it, right? Says, okay, there've been five nominations here. I'm convinced we can, we can kind of do that. All right, quick questions about that whole introduction. I tried to make it fast, but wanted to give you some context of what we're trying to do. I didn't present the problem but let me, I said quick questions and I kept talking. So let me stop. Questions, thoughts, what, do you, what are your first impressions? I have a question. Great. So can students- Oh, 
Hi, so I'm Emily Wilkinson. I teach right now, I teach eighth grade in Amador County of California. It's in gold country. Um, and my question is how, if student, can students design the badges themselves and then- Yeah, let's call them skills, but yes, okay. go for it. Yeah. Excuse me, skills. Yes, they can, yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, another, another take on this, by the way, um, now comment that one of the, one of the um, bylines or whatever about now comment has, has for years been turning documents into conversations. And it seemed to me that, that this was about turning like standards into conversations, right? So that there's a conversation about what counts, what, how, do you, how do you describe what that is, right? Um, there may not be a clear need for this yet. I think there is. Um, what, I, what I didn't say was that um, on, their, on the youth's profiles, these skills will collect. So you'll be able to kind of go and say, oh, she's somebody who you know, really writes powerful lines when she writes poetry. He's somebody who does this, right? So that kind of um, identity will evolve out of this. So it's about conversation. It's about talking about what counts on the site. It's about us making clear our values to the youth and having dialogue with them about what those values are in terms of what, you know, what counts. Okay, I could go on, as you might tell, about all this um any other thoughts questions do you hate that you're here thank you for coming <laughs> can i ask another question yeah please so, unmute folks so it's easy for you to laugh and and join in the conversation yeah go ahead emily um why did you call them why are they called skills versus another term so they could be called anything but i thought skills was and, and all of this is changeable, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. this is uh, pretty fresh, so we can change it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know why. Why do you think I call it skills? Because it, it didn't fit. Because badges has a pretty like. Everyone has an opinion about a badge. Skills mm -hmm. feels like a. I think I, th I think we want to identify something that is relatively small, mm -hmm. right, and not like the whole course or something. So there's that. I think that's part of it. Okay. Anybody else want to enter this dialogue for a minute before I split you up? I don't know why you call them the skills, Paul. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. I feel like a student can articulate that they walked away with a skill that just feels more tangible to me than a little digital badge. But I haven't really bought drank the badge Kool Aid, so I don't know. I do like to play out the idea that person got skills. I mean, it's like they had a Z on the end of it. it was yeah, kind of that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> We can put a Z on the end. You want to put a Z? On? <laughs> um, cool. All right. So, um, Paul, if you don't mind hanging around with me a little bit, because um, Janet's going to jump in, and you and Janet kind of know each other, I'm going to okay. kind of split you up in in a way here. Uh, but I don't know. Wait, I'm looking at numbers here. Um, should I, well, I don't know what to do next year. He helped me. Um, should we do one together and then go do one separately? Does that make sense? Anna, did we, can we look at the one you did and build off of that? Yeah, whatever, sure. <laughs> so let me figure out, um, sharing screen. I gotta go set some things up here, sorry. I guess while you're doing that, I'll yeah yeah go ahead. I'll paste the link to the Habits of Mind doc that I used for that. Mm -hmm. um, Which I forgot to mark the uh, sound thing, but I don't think we need it. Okay, so. Um,
here's where these exist now. There is a button up here called skills, right? And it's maybe you'll soon have a Z. <laughs> um, let me start. Let me start with this one for a second because this one is kind of like was messing with this. So I wanted to just have one to test. And this one started with um, loves dogs, right? And uh, come on. It's going there. Um, and then so and so here's what a skills a skill looks like, right? It has a it has a title, um, and we can talk about whether we want to keep this grammatical structure. But I'll give you some of my reasons for thinking about it. Once you get it, you can share it with other people, right? Elsewhere, but um, it also ends up, as I said, on your profile. So, as as with another account, I I nominated myself and got it here, and I nominated Jessica Hernandez Spear. So. Anybody who gets the, the skill ends up here. You can kind of check them out that way, right? Um, I thought a little bit about how, what loves dogs might actually be broken down into. And so it ends up gives clear commands and rewards while training puppies. My son's training a puppy and he doesn't think I give clear, I never, I, <laughs> I'll stop talking. Um, so here's, here's the icon, here's the title for it. And then there is, a there is a headline which breaks it down a little bit, right? With a couple of adjectives and then this under here. There could also be a, an assignment here. Right? This is recent thinking, I'll show you that. But that says, um, here's a place where you could go practice this skill, right? So that's another thing we could add into this, just to think about that. But anybody on the site would then get this nomination button. You would then search and find somebody else on the site and then say why you would nominate them, okay? Get a sense of how these work. And then up here under skills, teachers have this nominations um, link which takes you to the back end where you can see the nominations and approve or revoke or whatever, decide what you want to do with, with the, with the skill. Is all that pretty clear? I don't hear anything. All right. <laughs> um, let's, um, so what I'm asking you to do today is think about yourself as a professional, your teaching, yourself as a learner and a teacher, and think about a skill that you would love to get yourself. So Anna, talk about this one a little bit. Um, oh yeah, let me, so I was using um, Costa and Calix Habits of Mind. Um, I wasn't sure how to, format it the way you did with that like subtitle so I just italicized the subtitle but I tried to mm -hmm. follow like the prompts that you gave in the guides and stuff um I just thought when I you when you sent me that email I think you said like focus on a skill that you see your students doing or something and that's mm -hmm. my English language learners are like a extremely empathetic group um and mm -hmm. so I was thinking about um, a lot of their comments are like super supportive. Um, and yeah, so I kind of just broke down that habit of mind in the explanation a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then that's pretty much what I did. Cool. Um, just to show you, so that's what you'll mess with. Um, just to show you how this works on the document side over here. Um, this is where you put the image, and I do want you to spend some time doing that. I'm watching the clock. Um, you you want to click on, down at the bottom, click on show earners. That's what gives that bar at the bottom. 
And then we want to click on allows unlock through nomination and allows nomination notes. If you don't do that, of course, I'll go ahead and do that for you. Um, and earned by admin. Uh, yeah. Okay, details, but I can handle that. Um, everyone's sort of ready to go mess around. Um, I'm not leaving you. Um, once you get here, it is the block system. So um, you mentioned the italics thing. Just to say there is right here, there's a heading. And then I've been making these H3s. Okay. okay. So that's just where that is. Um, doesn't matter again. Although, you know, it'd be nice to have these look similar, seems to me. Okay. Um, so, so we want to, um, oh, here's what I need to show you. Sorry. So up here under skills, there is a, what's a youth voices skill? And I've sent this to you, but at the bottom of it is some guides and examples, right? So it creates beautiful harmonies in songs, writes provocative lines in poems, busts out clever rhymes and raps. So we're starting with a simple um, present tense verb talking about what they do and then where they, where we can find it. Okay, some notion of that. And then the subtitle uses the same language, but then adds a couple of adjectives. That's the idea here, right? And then the paragraph kind of breaks it down a little more, right? I think that's probably enough if you don't mind playing along with us. <laughs> let, me <cla> <laughs> let, me let me clarify something that, um, that I learned from PDP, a PDPU workshop that they did with, um, Vanessa G, and I'm sorry, Vanessa. I, I was there. Oh, you were there, yeah. I was there. I... <laughs> okay. So it was a great workshop because it, in order to understand, so, and, and this is what I imagine we could do with youth too. In order to understand what these things are, whether they're badges or skills or whatever they are, right? Recognitions. Um, we ask them to identify something you're good at, right? Something that a skill that you have yourself and then have your partner make one of these for you, right? So that's the idea here. And I think I was able to make that somewhat clear to Thano and Marina. Do you, do you, do you guys wanna show what you came up with? Yeah. Okay. Mine, I kept mine very- Should simple. I share a screen or do you want to? Um, do you have access to mine? If you published it, I do. I do have, I do have, I, I have published it. Okay, uh, let's try it that way. Then. It's the one about recipes. Oh, I don't see it yet. All right, so why don't you just talk about it? Cool. Well, that's one I made earlier, um, but I, the one yeah, I made did. Marina, I got to know her. Um, she likes, she likes cooking a lot and making recipes. Mm -hmm. So I made Let's a, just talk. Yep. Keep going. I made a skill that said, um, invents delicious recipes for cooking. My little subtitle was, uh, the recipes the inventor creates are innovative, innovative and savory. Um, and then a little congratulations text. I said, congratulations on creating an original recipe packed with flavor, good consistency, and one that stands out among comparable dishes. So that was the only part I was unclear about if I were doing, if I was doing correctly, but that was yeah, I mean, just as that great example. Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah. And the most recent thinking I've done on this as of yesterday is that a, another section might be, here are some places where you could go practice some recipes yourself, right? Mm. So it's an interesting thought, I think. Although it may muck up what this thing is, but I don't know. So anybody else want to talk about what you came up with? I'll call on you if you don't. <laughs> Natalie is trying to jump in. Who is? 
Oh, and Natalia. Oh, I think Anna should, Anna should take the lead, though. She oh. took the lead. This. Okay, yeah, what, what did the two of you come up with? Um, I think we interpreted the task a little bit differently, but um, we were very much oriented on uh, students. So mm -hmm. I'm like that student who's trying to like finish my homework during class. Um, I was trying to work on the post right now, but this is what we came up with so far. Um, I used the habits of mine. I had like halfway started this and then Natalia helped me kind of pull it all together and flesh it out. Um, so this is a, this was sparked by reading comments where a student wrote something like, I used to think this, but then I read your art, your post and you got me thinking this instead. And so I think that's so cool when that happens, especially when students are doing that for each other. So we, so our skill is reads with an open mind. Um, we got kind of stuck on like what it is that the person's producing because it like could be a comment, it could be an annotation. The text this writer produces demonstrates flexible thinking and reflects a willingness to change their stance on an issue or validate new information. Mm -hmm. uh, the writer considers the input of others and generates alternative ideas and solutions. The writer acknowledges the additional layers of complexity around an issue. And we kind of just kept it pretty open. And then this is as far as we got with the picture. Nice. Yeah. It's cool. Right. Yeah. Okay. So um, the, the whole thing you said about what sparked this for the two of you, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wondering if that could be the beginning. I don't know if that would be the final thing, but the paragraph below might be just that what you said that this got this was sparked whenever I watched students you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and then maybe may, then maybe we can edit that to say when we see students you know it kind of anyway I liked your paragraph about that mm -hmm. <laughs> um, can can I just show everybody while you're there um click on doc whoops stay there oh oh sorry i thought That's you were okay. gonna drive i got you no, no i don't want to drive <laughs> up there up there under document hit on mm -hmm. the top there's a tab that says document just want to show you where this exists um that's where you put the image right where yep, yep. but uh, but keep going down you want to hit the there are three things to hit. you want to show earners yep keep going Keep everything zero, keep all that good. Um, and then, yep, allow unlock for nominations and then keep going one more, allow nomination notes. So those are the kinds of things which if you don't click them, I will, but <laughs> <laughs> great. Um, Can I stop sharing now? Yeah, let's just hear from the other group a little bit. Paul and Janet and I'm sorry. Emily. Aunt Emily, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. So what did you guys come up with? Can I share the screen? Yeah, sure. OK. So I just started to actually put this into the template, and I'm messing around with that now. OK. But we came up with the title of a joiner. Actually, Paul did with his genius his poetic genius. And we were thinking about students who are able to make those deep connections, not only with themselves, but also between texts, between each other and with the world. Cool. I, which, and we could go deeper in this. It, it does make me think that, that one of the things Christine and I started to talk about is, um, what if there is already one that says, you know, you're a, you make good connections, right? Mm -hmm. But this language we like better, but they're both up. Like, how do we begin to negotiate that a little bit? Mm. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't have an answer. Um, that's why I asked it. Yeah. I think when I started looking further down the document, when I started looking at levels of that and moving away from text and talking about this is a student who does that from person to person by making those book recommendations or out of the classroom to other rooms in the building and making those adjoining uh, relationships, you know, classroom to classroom, classroom mm -hmm. to building, making connections from the text they're reading to 
promote social justice outside in the community. So they're adjoining the learning that they're doing in the room to the greater need of a town that they're a part of or um, a, a setting or an environment. So we're, I'm, I'm, I don't know, on my side, I was starting to look at the levels of adjoining that somebody may do outside of text to text. Mm -hmm. But the text would be the anchor you know, for me in my brain. The text becomes the anchor for those connections, those adjoinments that would happen afterward. They read Eli the Good, so, so they about blah, blah, blah. I love the poetry, but let me just push back it a little bit. And, and this, this is the kind of conversation that I hope this technology affords, right? Um, I'm thinking that the titles need to be something that the AP who's really pressed can look at and say, okay, you're, you're doing your work, right? And the adjoining might, might be hard. And then the, the subtitle is where to put the more interesting words. Okay. I'm just thinking that, you know, I'm not sure that's true, but. So that's why I've, I've kind of said that the titles are familiar standards kinds of titles. And then there's a sub, sub sentence that says, this is about adjoining, you know, with in text and so forth. Again, I just say that as a dialogue. <laughs> I, no, no, that, I, make, that makes sense to me. So that the title would actually showcase the skill that's being demonstrated, not so much naming it archetypally. Mm -hmm. like, I think archetypally, like, okay, this person is an adjoiner. Well, that, okay, what does that mean? We have to unpack that. So I like what Paul was saying is that we can save them the time in the unpacking by describing that in the subtext, but then being very clear about what it is that this person does that demonstrates that skill. I'm, I'm with you. And, and I, I um, about already babbled this in a, in a group, but let me say it again. The, one of the ones I came up with is um, there's, there's this whole stream of, of um, thinking and websites and so forth around um, that the U School does um, around wicked problems. Um, so like ask questions about wicked problems is it's not something you'd want in the title, but it is something I want in the subtitle, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you can link to what is a wicked problem, right? And you kind of figure that out. Um, but so general thoughts, uh, is, is, is this enough for you to kind of play with a little bit um, and see where it goes or? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to stop sharing a little bit? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> My hand was on the button. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So anyway, as I said at the beginning, um, the the hope here is, and and it's it's kind of like the by the line that I keep filling in. So I think I think youth voices is about turning blogging into conversations. Now comments about turning images and documents and videos into conversations. And, and I hope this tool is something about turning standards into conversations so that like we've had these conversations with each other about what counts and what it was valuable and what language you wanna use. Like if you start making these for each other, like I really like her comments. Oh, Janet, I want to give you credit here. Um, Janet said this probably a year ago when we were talking about LRNG badges, she was like, wouldn't it be great if they could recommend each other for these badges? Um, and that's- You mean, and I forgot. <laughs> I, know, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, but like, it is. And I think um, I'm looking at, I get a new group of students next week. And so I'm hoping I'm gonna pull some of the ones I have right now into here and then use them hopefully to guide this new group I'll get for nine weeks. Um, I, I think this could be really powerful in the way that um, people can start honoring the work. Um, I really do. And I like the visual piece a lot, just because what you pick helps me look and see what that was. So we had a lot of discussion about ladder, right? And, and the building and the connecting from one to another. And I think the image selection is important because I think that also is just another way for kids to understand what it is we're trying to say. So I think we just need to be careful when we're picking our image as well. Because I know my students would look a lot at like what that picture is and to help them understand something that's a higher level. Mm -hmm. And I love the way we're getting, we're building. I like what you just said about 
the standards being a conversation, right? I mean, because I think so much is just thrown at them. And right now, we're so we're still digital. We're going to be digital till January, virtual, or whatever. And there's so much. Paul and I were just—he was just talking about you know screen time. This and the more conversation we can build, and the more the less abs- absorption. My kids are just fried right now, and I'm trying everything I can to get them to try to interact because they're just starting to really step back, and I'm getting worried. To be honest, I'm getting really worried today. <laughs> A lot of blank screens, and I'm thinking this is a, a powerful thing for them or for cool. anybody that comes to the site. Cool. Just a quick shout out to Thena, who um, I don't know if it's your students or Kelly's students who put up posts about empathy. I think it was Kelly's students. Those are Kelly's. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we've got some uh, some yeah, Illinois uh, some Illinois in the house. Um, so check that out. <laughs> cool. Right, cool. Well, Hey, I did finally put a picture on my profile, Paul. I could. I, I know. Could, I saw that. I could not come here one more week without doing that. <laughs> so go friend Janet. <laughs> you get to see her picture. All right. I want to give you all a break and uh, let's talk again soon. Okay. See you next time. Bye, you. guys. Thanks, Paul. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Bye. Bye. Bye.